hi students till now we have discussed about the quick acting hormones and their examples i have also discussed with you those examples were adrenaline insulin etc i hope those uh, those parts were clear to all of you now onwards we'll discuss now today and right now we're going to discuss the next topic that is the mechanism of action of slow acting hormone now we will discuss what is a slow acting hormone means what are slow acting hormones what is the mechanism of slow acting hormones all those things now the slow acting hormone they are basically lipid soluble or fat soluble and that is the reason they can pass through the plasma membrane very easily that is the reason they can pass through the plasma membrane very easily and they have a lag period that means comparatively the time taken by these hormones for their action since they release from the gland is more it is more compared to the quick acting hormone so that's why we consider them as slow acting hormone and the slow acting hormones uh, we can see these uh, all these slow acting hormones are actually steroid hormones so always remember one thing and make a note of it that whenever we talk about slow acting hormones that means these are steroid hormones okay so the example of what actually we are going to discuss today uh, that is estrogen so estrogen hormone we are going to discuss and we will we'll see that how it work and uh, the mechanism of estrogen or mechanism of action of estrogen hormone in detail first of all the receptor which uh, which is present in the previous case and the previous uh, topic what we have discussed that is your quick acting hormone in that case they were present on the plasma membrane but in this case the receptor is present it is present or uh, the receptors are present in the cytoplasm that means that means if the hormone want to do the action if there uh, if the hormone or want to perform its action that means it has to go through the plasma membrane it has to pass the plasma membrane we have to it has to cross the plasma membrane and it has to go inside the cytoplasm then only it can perform the function so as i already told you they are lipid soluble so that's why it is easier it is easy for them they can pass through the plasma membrane easily now these hormones are smaller in size also okay as compared to the quick acting hormone and that is also one uh, benefit for or that is also one plus point for the steroids hormone or the slow acting hormone which help them to pass through the plasma membrane very easily okay now in case of estrogen what is happening the estrogen is released from the follicular cells and the place where the action takes place that is a targeted cell and the targeted area in this case it is uterine wall and the cells are the uterine cells so what is the targeted cell for the estrogen hormone it is the uterine cells okay now the estrogen can diffuse to the plasma membrane of the targeted cell or of the target cell that is it can go inside the cytoplasm and there the receptor is present and the receptor in this case is estrophilin what is the receptor present inside the cytoplasm in this case it is estrophilin now as a result the complex is formed that is the estrogen receptor complex now the estrogen will come inside the cytoplasm it's already there now and you can see in the diagram that this is estrogen and this is estrophilin 1 which is already present inside the cytoplasm so they will actually form a complex now that is called as uh, that is called estrogen uh, receptor complex or another way or other way can we can call it as estrophilin 2 the receptor previously it was uh, it was known as 
and we call we used to call it as estrophilin 1 now after it formed the complex we call it as estrophilin 2 now after it formed the complex or it forms the estrophilin 2 now it can penetrate or it can pass through the uh, nuclear membrane or it can diffuse into the nucleus through the nuclear membrane now what is the meaning of that that means it is or uh, that means it comes in uh, into the nucleus and inside the nuclear nucleus it binds with the specific dna site here you can see the specific dna site it can bind with the specific dna site now what will happen then next as soon as the hormone receptor complex that is the estrophilin 2 binds with the dna the dna undergo undergoes transcription and transcription it result in the formation of mrna you can see here because of the transcription we can see because of the transcription the uh, what we are getting we are getting mrna now the mrna uh, mrna is comes out into the cytoplasm and here it is going to help in the protein synthesis now you can see the mrna it is coming out uh, it is already uh, 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 comes out it already came out of the um, nucleus and now it is in the cytoplasm you can see here this is a mrna here now the mrna will actually help in the protein synthesis that is translation will take place right and the protein which is actually synthesized now they will actually responsible or they will responds for the physiological process or the they will have a physiological response now in this case what is the purpose of that physiological response it is the tissue growth that is the uterine wall during the menstruation cycle as uh, uh, we are going to discuss all these things uh, in the chapter of reproduction where you will uh, you will uh, understand that uh, estrogen is actually responsible or it is having a function during the menstruation cycle and it is helping or it is actually uh, stimulating the growth of the tissue in the uterine wall so finally uh, after the translation after the formation of the protein it will the protein will come out and uh, it will have a and it will have a physiological response and as a result the tissue growth can be seen and the differentiation of the tissue can be seen so this is the way the estrogen or the slow acting hormone this is the example what we have discussed right now example was estrogen so this is the example of a slow acting hormone so this is the way the estrogen is working so let uh, let us uh, let me repeat uh, once again see you can see in this case because the receptor is present inside the cytoplasm so the estrogen hormone has to go through or it, it should uh, it has to pass the plasma membrane and then all the rest of the reaction is uh, happening inside the cytoplasm and not only inside the cytoplasm it is also going inside the nucleus and from there it is coming out so it is taking for all these processes it will take some time it will take some time and that's why these are slow in nature and that's why these are considered as slow acting hormone so uh, this is all about the mechanism a uh, mechanism of action of slow acting uh, slow acting hormone and example we have discussed that is your estrogen i hope it is clear thank you